Hello everyone. Welcome to Management Academy. The study of economics is broadly classified into two branches, microeconomics and macroeconomics. In this video, we will be discussing the difference between microeconomics and macroeconomics. Microeconomics deals with individual economic variables whereas macroeconomics deals with aggregate economic variables. The term micro has been derived from the Greek word micros which means small, which means individual or single. So microeconomics as a branch of economics studies the individual units of an economy. Whereas the term macro has been derived from the Greek word makros which means whole or total or aggregate. So macroeconomics as a branch of study analyzes the economic variables as a whole or in total. For example, microeconomic studies the prices of a single commodity whereas macroeconomic studies the general price level which is the combination of prices of all commodities in the market. Whereas microeconomics deals with the income of a single family or individual income, macroeconomics deals with the national income or the total income of the nation. Microeconomics deals with the output produced by a single firm that is the individual output but macroeconomics deals with the total output of a nation that means the gross domestic output or the aggregate output. Whereas microeconomics deals with the individual demand that means the demands of an individual customer macroeconomics deals with the aggregate demand or the market demand. Now coming to the second difference microeconomics is helpful in determining the prices of the product along with the prices of the resources that means the prices of the factors of production whereas macroeconomics deals with the determination of level of income and employment. Now let us examine how does microeconomics determine the price of a product. The price of a commodity is basically determined by two forces demand and supply. When income of a consumer is higher they will demand more. That means consumers are willing to spend more and more amount of goods and consumptions. When demand is higher supply is also higher because the this is the time when the producers can increase the price of the goods and can derive maximum profit out of the sale of goods and services. Microeconomics also determines the prices of factors of production. There are four factors of production such as the land, labor, capital and organizations which are employed in the process of production of a good. Microeconomics analyzes how much land should be allocated to build a firm. It also helps us to understand that how much labor should be employed to several departments of a company, how much capital a firm can borrow from the banks for investment and how much profit an organization can obtain or aims to obtain at the end of an accounting year. On the other hand, macroeconomics helps in the determination of level of income and employment. That means more investment in an economy will lead to rise of more number of industries. More industries require more employment of labors which implies that more efficient production, better marketing of goods and services, timely availability of goods and services to the customers. That means flow of goods and services will be easy and efficient that will lead to higher aggregate satisfaction and hence higher aggregate demand. Thus macroeconomic studies the aggregates in an economy or the macro concepts in the economy and helps us to understand the determination of level of income and employment in an economy. Thirdly microeconomics helps us to understand the internal issues of a, of a business whereas macroeconomics is applied to environmental and external issues. Every firm faces some operational or internal issues regarding pricing, production, supply, etc. which can drain the business energy and resources and can render a business less profitable. These problems are internal to the organization and can be solved by the management. So, they use microeconomics to solve these problems. On the other hand, macroeconomics is applied to the environmental and external issues. That means 
any damage caused to the environment can hamper the productivity of the economy for example environmental pollution can degrade the productivity of lands and sea deforestation makes the area more prone to drought similarly concentration of more and more industries in an area may bring economic growth but in turn can also lead to resource depletion and creation of waste and toxins hence to understand the environmental and external issues the businesses use macroeconomics coming to the fourth difference microeconomics takes a bottom up approach to analyze the economy macroeconomics takes a top down approach now let us understand the meaning of bottom up and top down approach a bottom up approach is breaking down the system into smaller pieces or individual units to take complex decisions and microeconomics uses these individual units or micro units of an organization to build up a successful company for example bottom up investment focuses on individual stocks therefore the investor focuses his attention on a specific company rather than the industry as a whole on the other hand macroeconomics takes a top down approach that means investor will first examine the economic factors to see how these factors will affect the market or the industry and then they will see how it is affecting the stock of the company they are investing in for example he will analyze the gdp the changes in interest rates inflation and prices of the commodity to see where the stock market may be headed and these concepts which it analyzes such as the gdp interest rates and all are the aggregate concepts of the macro concepts so macroeconomic has a top down approach whereas microeconomic has a bottom up approach as i have already told bottom up approach first analyzes the company or it starts with the individual units and then it goes to the general structure to the economy so it was all about the basic difference between micro and macro economics which i think might be useful to you please subscribe our channel and suggest us the topics which you would like to know about thank you